Okay, I guess you're already familiar with this uh, setup, so I'm just doing some more testing. This is the current. Up to about 50 amps. So it's uh, 50 amps and 25.5 volts. Let's go straight to where I want to show you some testing. About 80 amps. Right on there, 81 that'll do. 26.3, 81 amps. seconds Turn the current down now to around 60 amps. Going to be testing this uh, new torch that we've made up. Um, let's see, it's a brazing tip for a uh, number 8 brazing tip, which is, is equal to the 0.6 mig tip. The uh, orifice. I'll hook that up. So one thing I wanted to try out is this um, flashback. Um, it's like quarter inch stainless tube in canal wires stuffed inside there. That's an untested new torch. Let me use the old faithful torch. Yeah, 
elegant, nasty little climb to it. Oops, sorry, shut that off. What I want to do is put this guy straight on the end. This has got a known ability to flashback uh, protect the system. Wrong, of course. And we're putting this um, so-called flashback arrestor with the uh, in canal wires inside. Let's see if that flashes back. Doesn't flash back. It burns. And put that out. So it got pretty hot. It was uh, I'd say it was burning inside the uh, tube. You can see the way it's burned down through the, back to probably about here, but it didn't flash back. Flame didn't get back to here. So, I kind of like that protection that often. And I'm going to be using that because it provides very little um, back pressure to the system. Okay. Fit, fit this new torch system that we're talking about on the right flash frame protection. If you saw the video on making the flashback um, protection, like I've got in the other torch, I've stuffed some of the um, you know, the microwave oven um, magnetron heat, heat transfer. It's a bronze, very fine woven bronze mat. It's great to put in there for good flashback protection. So it's got a nasty little flame to it too. Some people start burning, through, getting a bit of moisture through the system. Some people cutting through their aluminium pins, which is all well and good. Torch actually went out there, relit it off the uh, burning stainless steel. So it's one thing cutting through aluminium coke cans, and this is cutting through stainless steel sheet very nicely. Now if I could just hold my hand steady there, um, yeah. So. Someone on one of the vids said they were um, kind of sick of um, the Coke can demonstration. Well, that's another take on it. Here we are back on the back on the system. Fortunately, this uh, <laughs> this guy doesn't have a. Um, so it doesn't have a shut off uh, on it yet. <laughs> so we'll just um, kill it in the water. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. That was 10 litres a minute.